All right, so we have a tank that starts with 100 liters. Um, it, it has no salt in it to begin, and the salt's coming in at a rate of 0.5 kilograms per liter and 6 liters per minute. The solution is leaving at 4 liters per minute. So we're going to go ahead and look at the, uh, the rate of and the change of the amount of salt. So that's going to be equal to the rate in, which is 0.5 kilograms per liter at 6 liters per minute, minus the rate out. We know the speed that the solution is leaving. It's 4 liters per minute. Uh, but the, the concentration is going to change depending on time. It, so the concentration, of course, is just going to be the amount at whatever given time we're dealing with divided by what the volume is at that time. So what is the volume? The volume starts out at 100 liters. And every minute, 6 liters are coming in and 4 liters are leaving. So we have a difference of 2, but it's just staying in the tank. So we're getting an extra 2 liters every minute. So now putting this back into our differential equation, we get a prime of t equals 3 minus 4 divided by, <coughs> sorry, 100 plus 2t times a of t. So this is a linear first order differential equation. It should be easy enough to solve, and for the sake of time, I'm not going to be solving it here. Uh, it should come out to this. Uh, we do still need to deal with this constant, though. So and we and look towards our initial condition. We know that a of 0 is equal to 0. And it's also equal to 0 plugged in to t here. So we, on the top, we're just going to be left with c. On the bottom, we're left with 50 squared. Uh, this all equals 0. So that just tells us that c equals 0, giving us the solution a of t equals t cubed plus 150 t squared plus 7,500 t over t plus 50 squared. Uh, this might reduce. Yeah, I didn't see anything right away on how we could reduce it, but yeah, that should be a solid answer. Mm -hmm.